going on guys casual savage here and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a tv channel change transition in vegas pro 15. now there's going to be two ways i'm going to be showing you how to do this one is going to be really simple and really quick and that's going to be using a paid plugin the other way is going to be using plugins which come with vegas and it will take a lot longer so the first way i'm going to be showing you of course is with a plugin so head over to transitions and then it is known as s underscore tv channel change now this is part of the sapphire plugins so if you haven't got it already a link to it will be in the description once you've got it drag and drop it in you can see this is the one i have right here and i was playing it as you can see that's what it gives us now of course when you're using this effect i do recommend you add the sound effect as well otherwise it'll look pretty boring but like once again just to add it you drag drop it in between clips just like that it's been added in you then get uh, all of the uh, presets here now it's up to you if you want to change it you can experiment with it you don't have to stay with the default so by all means play around with it now also when you apply this transition you may experience some playback lag that's normal just turn down your preview quality so now I'm going to be showing you how to do it without plugins so like I did mention, this is going to be a bit more time consuming, but let's go. So what we're going to do is first of all, come to the center where the transition is going to happen. Then we're going to go back. Now, I recommend going back a whole second. So you can see I'm currently at 9.07. I'm going to go to 8.07. And I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split it there. And then I'm going to come to the middle again. And now I'm going to come forward one second. So from 9.07, I'm going to come to 10.07, and I'm going to split it here. Now, this two-second transition may be too long, but this is what I'm going to decide for now. And of course, if you guys like it, you can use the same uh, length as well. So now what we're going to be doing is heading over to Video Effects, and this time we're coming to TV Stimulator. So this is already built into Vegas, and where it says TV, look, drag and drop this onto the left clip we just split. So by default, this is how it will look. And what we're first going to be doing is turning everything off. So everything you're seeing here, just turn it all the way to zero. One thing you do need to have up though is the line sync, just so everything stays normal. Another thing I want to point out, uh, if I come across, you can see uh, we already have a line in the middle. And the reason for that is because the vertical sync also needs to be up on the first frame. So come to the first frame, Make sure the vertical sync is all the way up. That just makes sure no lines are coming up or down and it's going to act normal throughout the video until of course the end frame when you do the effect. Now the next thing you're going to do is select the animate button down here and we're going to be working with some keyframes. So the very first frame is back as normal but the very end frame is where it's all going to change. So I'm at the very end but we can't see our video anymore so just go back one keyframe by pressing the left arrow on your keyboard. This way we can still see uh, our video. Now what we're going to be doing is turning down the line sync and we're simply just going to play around with the settings to how we want them. So basically all we're doing is creating this type of effect. So there's no right or wrong here. Um, you choose how you want it and just mess about until you think it's good enough. And I'm going to leave mine there. So if I'm going to X out of it, this is what we've just done. As you can see, that's just one half. This half, still not done. But that's the first half done. Now we're going to drag and drop the TV look onto the next uh, part we split. This time we're going to be doing the complete opposite, meaning we're going to start with all these settings up and the last keyframe will be all down. Now, what we first need to do is match up all of these settings to the settings on the previous one. So if I come back to this and we right click it and select video event effects and then come to the last keyframe we created, these are the exact same settings we need to copy. So what I recommend you do, um, if you're following my steps, simply pause the video or if you're going to be doing it in your own steps and you've made your own settings, just take a picture of it and then copy them over onto the next frames. So I'll just speed all this part up and I'll copy over my settings. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. I've copied over all of my settings and now we're going to press animate. So again, we're going to come across to the end. This time we're going to go back one keyframe and it's really simple. All we're going to be doing is turning everything low. Now again, line sync needs to stay up, but everything else can go down. And vertical sync needs to stay up and then scan phasing and this and static can go down. So now if I play it through, the transition is now completed. Just like that. That is how simple it is to create a TV channel change in Vegas Pro 15. I showed you both ways, one with um, the plugin, of course, super simple, drag and drop and you're done. And there's this way, if you don't have the plugin, you just have to take a bit more time in creating it. And like I mentioned, I do recommend if you do use this effect, definitely add the sound effect as well to make it look better. But that's it for this tutorial, hopefully it has helped you. Like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then feel free to contact me via social media and I'll get it done for you as soon as I can.